what's going on guys it's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to blur faces inside of Final Cut Pro 10 and it's very easy and simple to do so I'm going to show you guys what I mean here so uh, this video is a advertisement from Powerade so I'm not sponsored by them in any way but I just use this video as an example for this so I'm gonna go ahead and play it so you guys know what I'm talking about so that is pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to be blurring uh, a face. Now of course this works with any video. So to do this, it's very simple, let me go ahead and just start from scratch. So you want to make sure you import your footage into Final Cut Pro of course and once you have done that you want to select a part where you want to blur the face. Of course you could import the whole entire footage if you wanted to but either way you're going to have to select a part of it. You could also split the clip which is what I would recommend or use the range selection and select a range from where you want it to start and where you want it to end and then all you have to do is is if you haven't imported your video yet just press E on your keyboard twice and that will make a uh, it will make two copies of the video clip so press shift Z to make everything fit into the timeline and I'm gonna just take off the uh, sound so we don't hear anything so if I play it back this is what we got so it's just pretty much um, the same exact footage just repeated again and we're gonna be using that as our main uh, footage so to do this is very simple all we have to do is make sure you're on your first clip here go over to the generators tab which is this one right here just click on that and then we'll open up the generators browser and it should have a number two so go over to elements and you should have the shapes here press e on your keyboard and that will add it into the timeline and then of course drag the shapes on top of our footage to the very front again pressing shift z will make everything fit into the timeline and we would just want to kind of cut that down to our first clip which is right here so once you're done with that you're going to see a white circle with a red outline and we're gonna go ahead and change that so go over to the inspector browser here and go over to the generator tab and right where it says fill we're gonna take that off and we're gonna go ahead and zoom into the guys's face so where I chose to start the video clip you could have your whole entire footage here and then just select a part of it but what we want to go ahead and do is we're gonna transform our circle here so I already clicked it once if it doesn't work just click again and that will bring up the little blue handles which allows you to resize or transform the shapes uh, element here. So now we're gonna have to add keyframes to actually track the guy's face so it could blur it. Um, so every time he's moving, the shape will follow his face to wherever he's moving. And to do that, it's very simple. First, you want to go ahead and click on this little diamond with a plus icon, and that will add the first keyframe. Uh, make sure you're on your shapes, your shapes layer here, and you want to go ahead and get any of the corners here and just make it smaller. You want to make sure that his face, the circle, is bigger than his head. Um, that will just make tracking much easier so I just want to go like that which is good of course you could always change the um, blur amount and stuff like that make sure we're set at zero and you want to go ahead and start moving into the video by using the left and right arrow keys and that will move one frame over and you want to track his head every time it moves so I'm pushing again right on my keyboard and I just want to keep moving that down to follow his face just like that up that it's kind of going up make sure you track his face again depending on what what video you're working with you will have to add more more or less depending on how much the person is moving that is good so all we have to do is click done but if we notice that if we skim over the rest of the video you're gonna have this little circle that's gonna be blurred uh, we don't want to do that so before we do anything else we want to go ahead and cut this in half so just press B for the blade and you want to click on here and here and that will just cut this part from the rest of the clip that way we don't affect what we're gonna be doing next to the rest of the clip so we could delete these shapes here and all we have to do now is go Go back onto our inspector make sure you have the shapes layer here selected go over to the fill make sure that's checked and uncheck the outline and then once you're done with that uh, we're gonna go ahead and add a Gaussian blur to our video not our shapes layer so we're gonna go over to the effects browser I'm gonna go over to blur and look for the Gaussian blur go ahead and drag that on our footage right here just like so and the last thing to do is head over to the video tab here and where it says compositing you want to go down to where it says blend mode 
code, go down and find a stencil luma, and that will make everything black. In other words, black reveals and white hides. All we have to do now is select both of the clips, right click and click new compound clip. You could give the new compound clip a name if you want to. I'm not going to, so I'm gonna just click OK. And all we have to do now, before I do that, I'll actually want to make this all of the footages here into a compound clip. So it actually matches our um, video here, which is should be the same time. So again, just do the uh, new compound clip, click OK, and then drag our footage here on the bottom. So now if we play it, you can see that it is following the guy's face. Now I did do a small little error and it kind of disappeared, but you could always fix that by moving one frame over and then that should take care of that. If you have a lot of footage, all you have to do is just create a mask for each footage and then uh, select all of the videos and right click and do a compound clip and that will do everything. So if you found this video helpful in any way, then please, please leave a rating below. That would be much appreciated. If you want to make King Tuts Pro happy, you know, leave a like, comment if you guys want to see another video. Also guys, I'm going to be leaving a straw poll in the description so you guys could vote for a next video. The video that has the most votes will be the next video. Make sure you go down in the description, click on the straw poll, vote for which video you guys want to see next. And that is all for today. So I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.